Hello and welcome to my channel. In my last video, I've talked about my homemade rose engine, which is here. And in that video, I've got several viewers' comments regarding the uh, rosette assembly here. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how the rosettes all come together on the spindle of the headstock here. So, stay tuned. Well, here we have all the rosettes completely disassembled uh, from the rosette barrel here. Uh, as you can see, all the rosettes are here in the front with spacers. Uh, this is the spindle of the headstock, uh, the main pulley. Uh, this is the um, pumping spring on the back of the headstock. Uh, we have a collar here, thrust bearing, locking nut for the res rosette barrel and the rosette barrel with the, the wheel here, crossing wheel. All right guys, just to go a little bit into details here. Um, here we have the uh, crossing wheel and the uh, rosette barrel uh, fitted together here. You can see on the barrel here, I've got a key right here. And the barrel is press fit into the wheel here. The barrel itself has got two bronze bushes, one in the front here and one in the back right here, which are press fit into the, the barrel. Alright, so the way it works is um, all the rosettes have keyways. So here is a rosette and you can see keyway right here and the spaces are the same with keyways. So I'm going to assemble now the rosettes onto the barrel. So first I put a, a spacer right in the back. So it's really tight fit right there. My first rosette, which is a, I think it's a 96 wave count here. Yes it is. So put it back here. Fits really well and there's no movement. Next rosette, 100, 100 waves. Same thing. Here. Next one. So it's just basically just to put everything together like a sandwich, big sandwich. Spacer again. Next rosette. So this one, this rosette basically has got a pumping face here. So the waves are, are just milled into the face here for pumping action. So this one goes here. Spacer. Spacer again. And my last rosette. So now you can see all the rosettes are in place. Now in order to uh, lock them in place, I've got that nut. So that nut just goes on top of the, uh, the barrel here. And I just tighten everything together. So it just compresses all the rosettes onto the barrel. So now all the rosettes are pretty, pretty solid to the barrel here. Okay. So now the spindle can come in. Like this. All right? But I'm not going to put it now because I'm going to uh, show you how to put it back on the headstock. Here we are back at the uh, headstock and it's ready to be uh, reassembled. So the first thing of order is to oil the spindle and the bushings here. So those are bronze bushes which are uh, press fit to the headstock here. So a bit of oil in there, in there, and on the uh, spindle, plenty of oil. So 
can start putting the spin ball right here. And the first thing I need to put in between there is the uh, nut, locking nut, a collar, and the barrel, the rosette barrels. Right in there. Right in place. So I went a bit too far. So the main pulley goes next behind the crossing wheel. And the main pulley has got a little collar here with a locking uh, thumb screw. So that um, pulley is uh, basically just tightened to the spindle. So this way. A bit fiddly, a bit tight. There you go. All right. So everything is in place. It's just a matter of pushing the speed on back home. And there you go. All in place. All right. So next thing, the next thing is to tighten the uh, pulley here. All right, there you go. Push it back. Right here. And then to tighten the collar, just to make sure that the, uh, the barrel of the rosette doesn't move like this. So it needs to be locked in place. Who is this collar? So this collar basically is just tightened around the spindle. Right there. So now it's all moving together. So if I move this detent, the barrel is free to move by itself. All right, so good fit, no play. Everything is in good order. Okay, here at the back, uh, the only thing left to do is to put the thrust bearings and the the spring for pumping action here. So the thrust bearing go first, a little bit worn in there. Right here. Goes on my spindle. And I've got the spring next and this little adapter here and the only thing left is to put the, the nut here to lock everything together here we go so that uh, spring should work should work fine yeah you can always tighten the tension there yeah? All right, 
That's good. Good enough. Good enough. So I'm going to put the belts back in there. Transmission belt onto that big pulley. And that's it. And like that, that's how the Rosette Barrel assembly works. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, give a like. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you want to see some interesting uh, engine turn pieces using this Rose engine, please check out my Instagram account. Till next time.